And it looks like this goat's gonna be number first. Oh, oh, and it worked, and she went back in, yay. Hello goat lovers, Crystal and Emily here in the kitchen this morning. Um, so today we have to get the two dolings that we retained uh, trained to the electric fence, but first we're gonna start making some ice cream since it is in two parts, so let's get going. So this is literally one of the easiest recipes, one of the easiest things you can do with your goat milk um, is make a delicious ice cream. Now technically it's kind of a half custard. Um, I did make it like this half custard just because I wanted it to be a little bit creamier of an ice cream. So here we go guys, let me show you the ingredients. For this recipe we're only going to use five ingredients. So we're going to use six cups of goat milk. We have one cup of sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch that we are going to add just a little bit of water in and stir that up so it doesn't clump when you add it to the liquid. And we have five egg yolks and we have two teaspoons of vanilla. So we're gonna start with three cups of milk. So at this point, we are only using half of it. Now we're gonna add the cup of sugar and then the cornstarch and water mixture. And I'm just gonna turn the oven on very low, more of a medium low. You just don't want to scorch the milk. So get that stirred together. So during this step, you definitely want to make sure that you're slowly stirring it so you get all of the sugar dissolved and everything just stays well incorporated and doesn't start separating while this process is going on. So you're literally just going to bring it to a boil. It takes about a minute and a half and then we'll be ready for the next step. Once this gets to a boil, we want to just continue boiling it for one minute just to cook that cornstarch and then you're going to turn your heat off and now we have to temper the eggs. Okay, so what tempering the eggs is, um, you just are slowly going to add some of this hot liquid into the eggs over here and stir it really good um, and you're just going to do that a few times to get the temperature of the eggs up. Um, now, what that does is if you add the eggs just like that without tempering them into this hot liquid, you're just gonna have scrambled eggs in there and it's gonna defeat the whole purpose. So, just a little at a time while you're stirring it. And what I'm going to do is fill the bowl and I can feel that it's warm so it is going to be ready to be put into the liquid. For this part you got to stir and slowly add it in and stir really really quick because there's still a chance it can scramble on you. All right, perfect. Now you do the happy dance because you didn't scramble them. So at this stage in the game, you technically have a custard and it is delicious. Um, once it cools, it'll thicken up um, and it's really good. You could stop this way if your intent wasn't to make ice cream, but we're making ice cream. So why I say partial custard is because I'm gonna add more milk. I'm gonna uh, add the other three cups of milk Stir it in real good. Okay. And now I'm going to add the two teaspoons of vanilla. And of course, when I say two teaspoons, it's two heaping teaspoons of vanilla, always. Never go small with the flavoring. No, no. Don't be hasty. Especially vanilla. 
And that's it, you guys. You have your ice cream base. The reason I said this is in two parts is because this mixture is really hot right now. And you know, ideally, even if you have a funnel, you can get it all in the jar. But anyway, this is super hot and it cannot go into the ice cream maker hot or it just melts it and you're not gonna get any ice cream. Now that we have our ice cream base, I am going to get it in the fridge um, and it's gonna cool off for just a couple hours and then it should be good to go for the ice cream maker. But while we wait for that, let's go outside and see how the, these baby doughs do on the electric fence. All right, so these are our two keeper doughs. These are the ones that need trained to the fence. Um, these are the two doughs, the only two doughs that we retain this year. Girl, this here, <laughs> This here is Mia, and she is a male Vader daughter. And then Emily has... I have Leia, and she is a little bit champ daughter. Yep. All right, they are in there. I'm turning it on. The old Premier One solar panel. Says 8,000 volts. All right, they're wandering off pretty quickly. Yeah. New pin, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? There's grass in this pen. Now this goat here is going to be our first contestant. I think so. Now it's important to remember what needs to happen is they need to fear the fence. And if they fear the fence, they'll have a good life and they'll be able to browse and go out with the, the rest of the does and they'll have a lot more fun. You know, they won't just be pinned up their whole life. But to achieve that, you got to get bitten. It looks like this goat's going to be number first. Oh, oh, and it worked and she went back in. Yay. You can hear the rest of the does kind of laughing. Yeah, that's what that is. And then, see, right after it happens, at first she's first it hurt. Now she's kind of mad about it. And she's not really sure what just happened. She went back over there and knew the fence was hot. Yeah. We'll see. I bet she tested again. She will. Look at these girls. Yeah. <laughs> no laughing, girls. They've all been through it. They're all, they've all been through it. Oh, sweetie. And it is effective. Um, it's gotten me a couple of times to where like, I, I still get weary being around it. <laughs> it does, it does work. It bites. It bites. And the ground is wet from some rain that we've had. You can see things are greening up a bit. See the one Leia there's found the grain already. Could that be a show trick? Possible electric shock real quick? Right. <laughs> Get some standing straight. Yeah. Well, while they're doing that, maybe we should jump out? Yeah, go for it. All right, you ready, Emily? Yeah. Don't get zapped. Oh. oh. So the 
girls just climbed out through the dough pen. And whenever these girls notice that they're alone, they will come over here and I bet they come right to here and try to get out a couple of times. Now our system that we use is the Premier One solar panel. Um, it puts out one ohm or about 8,000 volts of electricity, which really, really bites like we said. And we use these uh, push-in stakes that I got from the tractor supply. Um, and this wire that we got from the tractor supply, you can see it's just looped through that stick or through the little notches. And if I need to snug it up, I just twist it around a couple of times and that's it. Nothing too fancy, nothing too technical. I use twine to kind of brace it up against that. Sometimes in the corners, I use a, a, a concrete stake and again with some twine, but, but that's it. It's real simple. You can see it going up that way. This is the same square that we trained honey and pepper on months ago. We left it up in preparation for this. It's the Solar IntelliShock 120. It's got an on and off button. Uh, ground rod, normally we keep that wet, but the ground is wet here today, which is not an Arizona uh, characteristic, but today is a good day for training goats to the fence. They do sell netting, you know, that a lot of people use. We never bought it because it's, a, it's, a, it's more expensive. And for the size of paddocks that we use for the bigger goats, it, it, I mean, it quickly defeat the purpose of uh, saving money on browsing them. And plus, you know, even though it looks like grass out there sometimes and it looks fuzzy and soft, if, if I were to lay that netting down, when I go to pull it up, all the little cactuses and short little shrub-like bushes that, bushes that you can't see in it would just tear that netting so that's why we we use this line and and it works real good there's also horror stories that you hear of goats getting stuck in the netting and they don't get stuck in this they'll just jump out of it there's also an ant on your shirt hitchhikers there we go All right <laughs> Well, we should have took that grain away, huh? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna take this away because the purpose of this is to train them to the fence. And they're not training, they're eating. So I handed that to uh, Crystal and Emily. Crystal and Emily are jealous of my method of getting in and out of here. All right, and just like that, we might have a new contestant. That's twice. Oh. oh. Bring the grain with you and come back around. <laughs> Try not to walk right on the fence to where they... Yeah, now, so now Mia has had it twice and Leia has it, has got it once. And... Oh, there's twice for Leia. I know. Oh, don't. We'll give you your grain back, I promise. Well, you know it bites, girl. She's going to get it Go this again. Way. Nope. Oh. oh, that's probably all to take. Maybe one more each time, and they will know that for life. And uh, they won't do it again. And we're very lucky they're jumping back in or staying in. Doesn't always work that way. Doesn't always work that way. It's kind of another thing with the netting, right? If they jumped into it, they could break a $150 yeah. roll of netting almost instantly. 
I know it bites, baby. I yes. Know. <laughs> It was it was designed that way. But you're out. You're out. See see Daisy right there. I don't know if you could tell, but she's afraid she's gonna get shocked. <laughs> They're all there for the show. Uh-huh. Little stingers. For the first time you put this up. And you got this, oh, oh, here we go. Oh. Ooh, she might have learned. So yeah, the first time you put this post up and you're and you're putting the wire on, these goats will be sticking their head out and biting at it. And then you turn it on. Oh! Ooh, that was loud, wasn't it? Yes. The ground is wet. Yes, it is. So yeah, normally, or sometimes rather as the does are sticking their head out nibbling at that while i'm doing it i can turn that on and they get shocked in the ha you know when they're touching the fence and then they learn right quick not to touch it well, i know well you don't want to touch, touch it again trust me I think Mia knows. Mia learns. where's the grain at you want to take it back in there? Here. You gonna use my hat? No. No. How are you going to get in there? I'm going to hand it to you. Well, here, Emily will hand it to you when she get when you get in there. Here you go. Here's the key. Just try it. It's, I don't want to You try. can do it, right? Oh, yeah. I'll do it. All right, Emily will do No, you go right there where it's, you have a better chance of success. Yep. It's got shorts Just push on. it down. Don't break it. There you go. There it is. Oh, they're a little skittish now, but you'll have that. Let's see if Emily can get out using the hat trick. Don't step on that ground rod. Does that shock me? No, but you could break it. You'll break it and then I might shock you. Uh, man, what do you got? Good job, baby. I think I know. I'm awesome. In all likelihood, that's it. I mean, they're they're probably trained for life, and that's how simple that was. I mean, right? Yeah. It's awesome. I hate watching them get zapped, but I do love watching them browse right. and not being cooped up in the pen. So mm -hmm. that little bit for a lifetime of browsing, it's worth it. Yeah, so, it, you know, we removed the grain to kind of hurry it along because, like I was saying, that the point is to train them to the fence and that can take, you know, all day or it's been, what, not even 10 minutes and, and they're probably good for life. And uh, before you know it, they'll be out playing with the big girls and getting bullied around just like any other normal goat. Ain't that right? They're brats. They're, goats are pretty salty animals now. Like, pretty salty, that's a good way of saying it. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Salty heifer. All right, guys, so I am keeping a close ear out for the yard to make sure I don't hear the baby goats jumping out of that fence. And of course, we're checking on them frequently. But um, in the meanwhile, I just wanted to highlight three of our new soaps, you guys. It has been a little bit since we had any new listings, so just wanted to share the ones we have up for you. Uh, Darren here is actually wrapping one that I am in love with. This is our lemon tea bar. And I tell you what, lemon and tea in the summer is absolutely amazing. Love it. One of my favorite things. But the smell of lemon any citrus really in the summer is just beautiful. So we have our lemon tea bar. Uh, this one here, I really, really like. It is uh, just a pine scent, but it is a lake view theme. So if you can see it, it just kind of looks like the lake and the sunset going down. So this is a really cool bar. And then this one, I'm also really 
really in love with. This smells like a field of wildflowers. So this one has three essential oils in it. Um, it has Ylang Ylang, orange, and pine, just a little bit of pine, just to give out that kind of woodsy, flower, field of flower kind of scent. So, and then we just have a bunch of flowers. We pipe some flowers on the top. So this is a beautiful um, bar and it smells wonderful. So we got three new bars up guys, but we also have all of the favorites, uh, many of the favorites anyway. So go on out over to our Etsy shop. The link is in the description below and get yourself some soap. And don't forget, you still get 10% off until July 15th using the code SUMMERTIME. Guess what time it is? Finally ready to start making this ice cream here, um, or at least start putting it in the ice cream maker and getting it frozen so we can enjoy it. It has been so hot today. Um, but on another note, those two little dolings are doing awesome. They haven't even tried to jump back out. So I'm very proud of those girls. They are a smart couple of girls. What yes. did you say? Yeah. The ice cream maker that I use and absolutely love um, is just a KitchenAid. So I use an attachment, the ice cream um, KitchenAid bowl, which is a game changer, you guys, because I used to just have the regular crank and I'd have to take turns with the kids and stuff and it's lovely to have the ice cream, but it's a lot of work. So this I can just kind of set it and, and go. So again, game changer. Emily is going to show you guys how it works. So first you can't forget, I didn't mention this, you guys, this is the little attachment that comes with um, the ice maker, and then this is the paddle. So Emily is going to lock that in. Boom, make sure it's tight. It's not, yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay, now, no, yep, yeah, just put it down in there. So it doesn't hook, but it has these little lips that just kind of lock to it, so as it spins and then she locks it now you yep good to go now you cannot pour in your ice cream base until you have your paddle going if you do it's going to freeze almost instantly around the ring and you're just not going to have a good ice cream day yeah, okay because so then you got to clean the machine and yeah, then, ice but, cream block yeah and then it's not there. frozen anymore so this keeps it moving Or in like so, because you are doing amazing, Emily. I know. Just amazing. Bloop, 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 bloop. It's a satisfying sound, isn't it? Yeah. It's the sound of ice cream going in an ice cream maker on a very, very hot summer day. All right. Perfect. Emily really doesn't want any to go to waste. <laughs> I'll eat the jar later. <laughs> All right, so right now it is just on low. She's gonna crank it up one more notch. So that will take about 30 minutes is all. Just keep an eye on it, because if you let it go for too long, then it starts melting. So you wanna get it to the consistency as soon as it's frozen. And Emily, what are you gonna do for 30 minutes? Whenever it gets on the side, I'm going to eat it. No, you're not. You're yeah. not even licking the bowl over here. <laughs> Emily! What? Dude. It's ice cream. I know. You have it's to good. wait. It's vanilla. I know. You can't be this mean. Yep. So it has actually been 25 minutes. Um, and it is ready. So again, if you let it go too far, then it's, it's going to just start melting. So right now is go time. And the thing about homemade ice cream is it melts quick, so you gotta eat it quick. So let's get some ice cream in our bellies. Did someone say ice cream in our bellies? I did, Darren. Suddenly my back feels better. It does it to me. <laughs> okay, shut her down, Emily. Now sometimes this actually sticks and it's really hard, so let's see. Leave that in there and just untwist it. Unlock it. Oh, nice. It's because I did it. I'm a pro. Emily's favorite part, take out the paddle. You need your spoon to scrape it off. Okay. 
Look at that, you guys. Oh, that was really satisfying. <laughs> Now, this is just basic vanilla, obviously. You can add whatever you want into it. Um, you really could just use this as a base for any ice cream you could imagine. All right, I think that's good. You're gonna get a bowl you of it, Emily. have to leave some for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna waste your time on that paddle or would you like a bowl before it melts? I'll have a bowl. All right. All right, who wants ice cream? Me. me. First. Oh, jeez. There we go. Uh. Alright. Mom? What? What is this? Hey. This is not fair. No, I want a refund. Yeah? Yeah, boy. Man, you guys really need to make this recipe. Mm. It is priceless. No words. What do you think, bud? It's actually so busting, though. It's good. All right, so we're going to get to eating it because it's going to melt quick. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you again soon.